Do you understand the game you are in right now? I've used this very often that football is a team sport, but it is an individual game. So do you understand the game you are in? Okay. So guys, you know, as I can see here, we have parents, we have uh, players, and we have guys that, 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 that coach. Yeah. And football, like I said, is a team sport, but it is an individual game. Do we understand what game we are in? Now, I'm sure if I must, if I must ask you, right, as a, a coach, do you understand the game you're in? You're going to say, yes, I'm a soccer coach and I coach in soccer and I teach boys how to, how to score goals, how to defend, how to attack, etc. But do you understand the game you are in as a coach specifically, individually, as a parent? Do you understand the game you are in? within the sport of football. You understand you understand the game you are in as a parent. And in as a player, do you understand the game you are in according to your role, according to your skill set? Yeah? So I'll give you an, 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 a story guys. Yeah? Yesterday I went to the to the park with my with my son. I went to the park with him. I have a, um, a three-year-old boy. So I went to the park. I took his, 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 his ball with him. And then there was a, there was a father with, with two of his sons. Now the one boy was about um, seven or eight years of age. And the, the, the other one was about 13, 14. The father then started to, you know, instruct him, you know, what to do. And I, I, I watched him because I have a habit when I see, Parents play with their kids. I always watch. I always check and observe because I'm I'm big on making sure that what you're doing with your kid, irrespective of your coach or parent, is always age appropriate. Uh, so now I I watch them and I see this father uh, instructing his kids to like stand. Now the one is seven and the one is probably twelve years age. They are standing probably um, you know fifty meters apart, and they have one ball and they have cones and it's about shooting the ball long. I'm watching this, watching this, and I'm like, okay, no, okay. It is clear to me, they understand the sport of soccer, but the parent never understood the whole game that he's in with his kids. Okay? So, uh, let that, let that him sink in. Furthermore, a few minutes afterwards, he told his, his two sons to leave the ball, yeah, they're going to run now. So, so he makes them run 50 meters. And the one that's seven, eight years old, obviously is having fun. Because football sport is about fun. You must enjoy it, irrespective whether amateur or pro. He then stops the seven-year-old and he tells the seven-year-old, take that smile off your face. This is serious business. Do you understand the game you are in? Because you understand the, the sport. Yes, everybody wants to win. Everybody wants to compete. That's, that's the sport. But do you understand the game you are in? Yeah. Okay. So as a as a, a, a you know a coach, you know, I've been a coach now for the last for the last some six years. Right. I coached I coached in semi semi pro uh, pros and amateurs, and it took me a long time to uh, to you know understand this that football is a team sport, but it is an individual game individual game. So if you as a coach understand it, what your game is, number one. In other words, who are you serving? Number one. Who are you serving? How are you serving them? And when are you serving them? Because here's the key. As a parent, as a coach, or as a player, right? We are all there to serve people with our gifts, with our ability. Yeah, the higher the higher um, you know role you you have as maybe a coach or as a player as you will go from being amateur to pro, you know, the higher your your title and position, the more it is on you to serve. Now, obviously, we know in South Africa there is a bit of a, a you know, opposite approach. 
The higher the, the title, the more entitled the person feels to not serve, and they should just be served. Unfortunately, guys, if that is your thought, if that's your thought as a parent and as a coach, that is a myth. Yeah? You need to understand the higher your calling, the higher your the title, the bigger of the responsibility on you to serve people with that ability. That is why it's very important to understand the game you are in. So the game you are in as a parent or as a coach or as a player has got three areas which I'll share with you, right? And there, there are multiple names for those three yeah, areas. Mindset, skill set, and tool set. Mindset is B, yeah, being. Yeah, skill set is I'm doing, and I'm, I'm tool set is having. So B do have. Now here's the here's the here's the um, key guys. Everybody wants to have, right? Everybody wants to have. You as a parent, you want your son to have the best. You want him to become a pro. You want him to become the next best player. As a coach, you want your team to win. You want to have, as a coach, you want to have success. But are you prepared to do? Are you prepared to, to do what it takes in order to have? And more importantly, are you prepared to become the person for whom that role is meant for? Or for whom that task is meant for? Because very often, and I, I get it, a lot. I get moms and dads come to me. I get, you know, a coach come to me and they, and they all ask, I want my player, I want my son and daughter to go higher. They have the ability. We, we all want to have, but we need to understand there is a doing in order to have. We need to also understand there is a being in order to have. And the being is the first part of it, right? Which speaks to your mindset. That's why I said mindset skill set and tool set not tool set skill set and then mindset now we know in south african football maybe people talk a lot, a lot about them skill set a lot what about them tool set right uh, we, we all want we all want to be the best we all want which is all good and well we talk about skill set but what we neglect is mindset because mindset the being part who you are as a parent who you are as a coach and who you are as a player is is the fundamental for you to succeed, irrespective in South Africa, England, Spain, you know, Germany. So, mindset, skill set, and your know, tool set. Being, doing, having. Now, I know that that you know it's a it's a it's a, a football talk. So the, the expectation was we're going to talk about football. But here's what you maybe not. If you are understanding, I am speaking about it. I'm speaking about football on a level deeper than any anyone I've heard in South Africa speak. And I, you know, I, I can boldly say that because for years we've been speaking around this. We've been speaking around this. And for week after week, month after month, year after year, we see the same player and we say the same thing about him. He has awesome ability, but he's a bad boy off the field. Or he has awesome ability, but he cannot handle the you know, pressure. He has awesome ability, but as soon as we play away from, from home, he freezes. So you answer the question to me, not, not for now, but answer the question, is that down to ability? No. No. It's down to being. Starts with mindset first. Being. Who are you? Whose are you? What do you know about yourself? What do you believe about yourself? Yes? Okay, so be, do, and have. Because if we take all of that, guys, right, and we, we think about it, about, okay, if you must ask a football player, yeah, how does he intend to, to, to go from where he is right now to perhaps become a, a pro? I guarantee you the first word you will, you will hear is, I have to work hard. Yes, but if you do not understand the game that you are in, then maybe what you are working on is not helping you. But yes, yes, a 
affect all work works. All work works. So even though you may be working on the wrong thing at that time, it is not the wrong thing because if it's not working for you, it is working on you. Yeah? So all work works. So in the being part, in who you are becoming, you have to go through through a journey, through a tough time, through having, having to go through something, finding out, okay, that's not you know, the right thing for me, for the right move, or the right drill, yeah? But in that, you are being shaped. That's why I say all work works. Because if it's not working for you at that point in time, you can guarantee it is working on you, shaping you to become the person for whom it can work. Yeah? A practical example is, a football player has a bad game. Yes, it is normal, isn't it? Everyone has a bad game. Yeah, I have a plenty of bad games. But if you understand this, that all work works, then that bad game should show you what it is working on within you. Not outside of you, not on my teammate or my coach or the tactic or this or that or was too hot or was too cold, my boot wasn't right. No, it is working on you. So all work works. You just have to become aware on what it is working on. Okay? So I'm focused on you guys understanding that first get to understand the game you are in as a parent, you know, as a coach. Yeah? And once you understand the game you are in, you will then focus in on being, do, sorry, doing and having. Yeah? Now, some of you might be, might be thinking that, okay, but I'm in charge of your team. So how do I teach them? Well, you are the best example. That's why being is the, the, the first part. That's why mindset is the first part. Yeah? You are the best example. Now, we also are in a culture where maybe sometimes us as a coach and as a parent, we aren't the best example. So we don't want... We don't want our kids, our sons, our daughters, or our players to do as we do. We want them to do as we say. Then you cannot expect them to go higher and higher. Because being is the first part we need in order to do. And once you are being who you are supposed to be as a parent and as a coach and as a player, you will focus in on exactly what you need to do. Are you listening? the doing part will allow you to have it. Damn. Yeah? Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.